Hi there. On today's blog, I'm going to show you a really beautiful monochromatic Christmas card. I think it's even a little bit kind of dinner jackety, some maybe posh even, I think you'd call it. Very, very simple. And I'll tell you what, this card has some new products I am really excited about. Let me show you. The new stamp set from Just Right is the Festive Poinsettia and I think this is going to be one of the biggest selling stamps this year. I'm really, really in love with this one. We've got the classic poinsettia die set from Spellbinders, and this is the one it matches up with. I'm also going to be using the swirl out of the Bella Rose set from Heartfelt Creations, because I think it's a beautiful embellishment on my cards. And for my sentiment, I'm going to be using the classic oval set from Spellbinders. And the greeting is coming from the winter greeting set, uh, stamp set from Creative Expressions. All right, let's get started. Let me move these out of our way. And the first thing we're going to do is stamp our background. Now I've decided to go with a black background and do some black on black because I think that's really elegant. Because the stamps are clear, I'm going to put a piece of U mount underneath me. And I've got one of the poinsettia set, uh, stamps out of the set. Using a clear perfect medium, we're going to ink this up and stamp it all the way around our card. Give it a good push and ink it again. And you kind of want to just twist it and turn it. You don't want it to look too regular. Stamp it off the edge of your paper. That's, um, that's a nice look too. And we'll do a few more so you can get the idea. And I think, now let's do one or two more. Let's get one up here somewhere. And most of the card will um, have the large poinsettia showing, but I think we'll have just a little bit down here. So we'll put one last one. Now when you do yours at home, you can certainly add more to your liking. And I think that would be a nice look too. So we'll set that aside and let me get a piece of copy paper to put underneath us. And we're going to do our embossing. I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Black emb Embossing Powder for this because I like the black on black look. Let's get that last one. Give it a good flick so you can get all the stray pieces off. And let me just decant this and we'll take it out of our way. All right, time to emboss. And after the heat tool just warms up a little bit, you can see it's really coming along. Just melts that powder as you move it. Now some people like to heat from the bottom so it gives a smoother look. And that is certainly something you could do. I thought for the uh, purpose of the demonstration, I would just do it on the top. But if there's a, um, a particular reason that you would like it to be extra smooth looking, heating it from under like this will give you that look, just to let you know. We're just going to work from flower to flower, making sure we get all the little points on it. And you can see how they become shiny. The black on the black is really, really elegant. And one last one here. I think I missed a little spot right there. So if you look at it, you can actually see if there's any missing spots because they're not quite as shiny. So you can kind of wiggle it and check that. But I think we've gotten them all there. Now, if I was doing this for my own card, I would probably add a few more in, but just for the purposes of the demonstration, I think you know. So we'll go ahead and get this onto our background and start to work forward from there. So I'm going to use some of my double-sided tape and I'll just work it around the edge here.
and we'll get that put onto our mat. Let's go this way. And you can take a little more time and center yours too, but that's, that's good. That's a nice start. And I've actually used some black and white to give it a little more emphasis before I've put my pierced edge on. So I'll set that aside for the moment. And now we're going to do some stamping. Now, the um, larger poinsettia stamp is the one I'm going to use to make my poinsettia. But this, even though this is a fairly large stamp, I wanted it bigger. I really wanted a nice big focal element on my card. So I'll show you what I've done. So first thing, I'm going to do a little stamping here. And let me just make sure I've not got any pieces of black powder on there. And I'm going to ink this up nice and inky. And I'm going to put my piece of view mount underneath it and give it a good stamp. Be sure to press all your corners of your petals there. Peel that off. And I'm going to take a different piece of copy paper because I'm going to be using white embossing powder this time. So I don't want to contaminate it by picking up the same piece of copy paper that I used the black embossing powder on. Oh, that just stamps a dream. When I say that this stamp is stunning, you, you just will not believe how pretty this is until you get it. It's, it is one of the most beautiful stamp sets I've seen this year. I'm going to be using it on my Christmas cards, that's for sure. It embosses very quickly on the vellum too, but you can see how pretty that is. I mean, just look at the style on that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut it easily. So what I've done is I've, I've gone ahead and cut a, what I call a mask out of a piece of just inexpensive copy paper. So I'm going to line this up with my stamped image just so I know exactly where that needs to go. I'm going to tape it into place with a bit of the removable tape. onto my vellum. There we go. In fact, I'm going to put one more. I just don't want it to wiggle. Okay. Now I'm going to take my die and I'm going to slot that into place so I know that I've got a nice alignment on my stamped image. There we go. Just make sure you've got it in there. That feels right. Kind of wiggle it around a little bit and you can kind of feel it go back into the pre-cut position. And I'm going to take this into place now. Okay, and we'll run this through. Now I do have one more um, die I'm going to cut, and since I've got the room on the larger A4 size on my um, grand caliber plate, I'm going to go ahead and do it at the same time. And this is the Bella Swirl, uh, or it's um, the, Be the Swirl from the Bella Rose collection. And I've got a piece of wax paper in between my white cardstock and my die because it's very detailed. So I'm going to just tape that down, and we'll cut both of these at the same time very easily just run them through our grand caliber. And let's see how we did. Beautiful. I'll go ahead and take this one apart. And this is really, really detailed, so I do recommend the wax paper on it. And we'll just pop that out. I think if you just loosen the leaves on this, it tends to be able to pull right out with that wax paper. Just go gently. Work it along. There we go. And then separate the wax paper piece and punch out any little pieces that are left in there. There we go. Okay, now we'll leave that aside for the moment. And let's see how we did on our poinsettia. And find all my taped pieces here. Now vellum's delicate, so you don't want to rip this. So do um, use your pokey tool and just get it started on all of your tips. Because where it meets in the center, it's got kind of a fine 
um, thin piece, so you don't want to pull that too hard. Get them all loosened. Oops. And work your way down. And then we can just gently lift that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect cut. You see that? Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of forming and I'm going to use just a, um, uh, the mat I use for piercing my cards actually and a little ball stylus. And I'm just going to turn it upside down and rub it. A little bit of a circular motion and that will just give a little bit of form to that uh, petal. Which, I don't know if you know this, but a poinsettia is actually not a flower, it's leaves that turn colors. So I always hesitate calling this a flower, but um, I think that's from years of um, selling poinsettias when I was uh, younger. There's a little tip, but I bet you didn't know. Okay, so that just gives it a tiny bit of shape to our flower. We are going to start putting it together. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut some extra large pieces. Now these are technically like larger leaves, but they've got a matching stamp so you can add to this to make, to build up your poinsettia and make it look like a, a, a giant flower. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to use some glue dots and I'm going to get them into the shape that I want first. And because I'm not gluing into place, I can actually move it around and form it how I like. So I'm basically going to sit it right about there and we'll take these and I've gone and done the opposite on this. So you're going to get a little bit of a, a different look to this. I'm using the vellum stamped upside down and I like the way that looks. It's going to give it kind of a, um, oh, just a different look to your flower. And we'll probably put this one about like that. And I've done five of them. You can do more, you can do less. Let's put that in here, maybe a little closer. And let's put this one, I think, even a little bit offset. How's that? And now, just to see where we are, I'm going to put the flower in the center and just kind of move things around to hide the tips on there. I can put this one in a little more. So you can get the look on the sizing and the shape however you like it. I just like kind of the irregularness of it. And I've actually brought a little piece of tool to kind of tuck underneath because I think that adds a little bit of an accent to it also. So we'll just kind of tuck that right here. Popping out from underneath it. And the swirl that we cut earlier, I'm going to take a little piece off of it and let's cut it right about here. And I'm going to take the leaves off because I just want the swirly bits. That's what's nice about this die is that if you like the leaves, you can leave them on there very easily. But if you don't, if you want to cut them out, it's done so you can easily nip them off. And let's just use the little glue dot and get the spacing on this one. I'm going to tuck this up into the top underneath. We're getting there. And I'll tell you what it really needs. Oh, and I have one more leaf here. Let's just use this little guy and get it a tiny bit fuller. Let's put it right about here. What do you think? And we will put a pearl in the center. And I'm going to use some Cosmic Shimmer glue for that that on there. And I've got an eight millimeter white pearl because I really want it to be kind of a bold, a bold look in the center of it. Leave that there. Now we can kind of move these around. Your choice. You can spend a little more time and you can make it look however you like. But we're going to finish this off with a sentiment. Now um, I've gone ahead and stamped the Happy Christmas and cut it out in an oval. And just to add a little bit extra of an accent to it, very subtle. I'm not sure if it'll actually show up on camera, but you can do it and it's perfect for your recipients. I'm going to watermark it with the poinsettia. So I'm just going to ink this up with my perfect medium. 
and I'm going to stamp over the top of it, a little bit offset. And I'm not sure that's going to show up, I apologize, but it does give you a little bit of a watermark look, so when you do give it, it's really, really pretty. You could even rub a little bit of white mica on there and it might um, make it show up a little nicer. Um, I'm going to mat it with a larger oval and we'll put that right about here. And a little piece of mounting foam and we'll put our sentiment in the center. That looks good, and I think I'll finish off with a pearl swirl. I've just trimmed a little piece off of a uh, larger swirl piece, and we will trim this away. And we can kind of just eyeball where we want to put it based on where that drops, and we'll just tuck the end underneath the flower. And then I'll peel this back carefully. And we will lay it down. And I've got one more little piece we'll add on there. We can put this in there, I think, a little bit more so we'll have it coming down from underneath the flower. There we go, just poking out there. So there you have it, a beautiful, elegant, almost dinner jacket look to a Christmas card that you can make yourself and give your friends. I'm sure they'll all be delighted to receive a card like this. Hope you enjoyed it.